What's going on you guys? It is Wanny back on your screen bringing you a brand new video in Greenville, Wisconsin. If you're new here, make sure to smash the subscribe button down below to join the Wanny family today. And today we are going to be headed to school you guys. We are going to be taking the students on the best field trip ever. So let's get on the road right now and let's enjoy this beautiful day for the field trip you guys. Honestly, I am so excited, probably more excited than the students because this is going to be such a fun experience. We're going to be going to the local farm and hearing about how the farmers survive, how their resources help our community and more information on how to run a farm so i'm super excited about it you guys students are going to be in the classroom we're going to take attendance play a little review game and then we are going to get on the road for this field trip so it is going to be a great day honestly guys we have absolutely beautiful weather here in greenville wisconsin so i am ready for a great day on the road to the farm you guys so let's get there as soon as we can and let's have so much fun with the students honestly this is going to be one of the most memorable field trips that the students ever go on so i actually am also gonna be filling in with a bus driver because we are very short on staff here at the school we literally only have one bus driver for our entire school so i'll be filling in driving the school bus to the field trip Luckily, I'm well trained and I have my Wanny Wanny bus license, so I am perfect for the fill in. All right, everybody, we'll be arriving at the school in just a few moments and we are going to have the best day ever, guys. Leave a comment down below. What is your all time favorite field trip? I would love to hear more about it in the comment section down below. So, here we are. We're going to be pulling up at the school in just a second and we'll be departing after we play our review kahoot game so here we are at the school honestly guys i love the brand new school we had built here about two years ago it is honestly super super nice and the students definitely enjoy this new building so let's find a good parking spot for the lincoln you know we do not want any dents let's head inside and let's have a great day oh looks like one of the bus drivers are here good morning how are we doing are you ready to depart on the field trip in just a few minutes we're gonna do a review game and then we'll be headed out all right, guys, we need to be in class immediately. You're late. All right, let's go, everybody. You guys should be in class. All right, we will see you in just a few minutes, okay, Mr. Bus Driver? All right, guys, you guys are late. You're going to have to go to the office for a pass, okay? Go to the office for a pass. You guys are running late. All right, guys, we are going to head to class right now, and we are going to have so much fun. We are going to do our fun Kahoot game, and then we're going to get on the road. All right, guys, here we are at history class. Good morning, everybody. It is great to see you guys. I just have to take attendance really quick. Looks like everybody is here besides the two students that are running late. Good morning, everybody. It is great to see you guys. So today, as you guys know, we will be going on a field trip to the local farm. Now, I need to make sure that you guys are being respectful. You know, make sure you raise your hand. Do not shout at the farmer. I know you guys get excited about farm stuff, but please show extra respect. You are representing our school, and if you are not being respectful, we will call your parents when we return back to the school. Okay, everybody? Now, we're going to be doing a game of Gahoop. I need my first three friends in the first row to come on up to the board. Now, you guys in the audience will be shouting out the answer to try and help our three friends out here. And I will also be playing the game. So I will be playing the game. If you guys beat me, then you guys get five extra credit points on your test. Okay, everybody? So we are super excited. This is going to be so much fun. All right, we got to start up the Kahoot game. All right, you can also join us. Sir, you could join us too. We need one more person join. So help us out up here. Thank you very much. And we are going to be having so much fun. All right, guys, the game is going to start in just a moment. Be ready. Be ready. I will be saying the questions. You guys need to shout out the answers to try and help out your classmates, okay? Who was the first U.S. state? Oh, my goodness, you guys. This is actually a tough one, guys. Seriously. Maryland, Rhode Island, Delaware, or New York? All right, guys. I am going to have to go with Delaware. Guys, what do you think of the audience? Someone is shouting New York, Delaware, Delaware. This guy is shouting out yellow. Guys, we got it. We got it. Delaware was correct. Honestly, not too bad. Delaware was originally part of the first 13 colonies. Great job. Only one of us got it wrong. All right, guys, get ready for the next question here. What do the stars on the U.S. flag mean? Guys, we need your help here. What do the stars represent here? Cars, presidents, number of states, and countries. Guys, what do you think? Honestly, might be cars. What do you guys think? Cars? 
you know, 50 cars, honestly, might be, <laughs> might be cars. No, I'm just kidding. It's not cars. It is the number of states in the United States. Good job, everybody. Let's see who got it correct. All right, everyone got that one correct. Awesome job, everybody. Proud of you guys. Very, very good. What year was Roblox founded? Guys, oh my gosh, this is a trick question. I don't even know this one. Let's see. I'm honestly going to have to go with 2004. I'm feeling 2004, you guys. What do you think? 2004? 2016? Are you serious? It was not in 2016, okay? 1994? Oh my gosh, I got it correct, guys. It was founded in 2004. I honestly cannot believe that. Guys, that question's not going to be on your test, okay? So don't worry if you got that one wrong, okay? Do not worry, okay? All right, let's see. What is the population of Wisconsin in 2020? I have no idea. Let's see here. Let's see. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have to go with, I'm going with 2.2 million, you guys. 2.2 million. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Let's see here. Who will get this correct? We have 2.2 million, 5 point. Oh gosh, we got it wrong. Oopsies. We got it wrong. Seriously? I did not know that, you guys. Oh, looks like someone has taken the lead here. Looks like they might be getting their extra credit for the test. Good job, you guys. Good job. All right. When did the U.S. become a country, you guys? Let's see here. What are our options here? 1787, 1885, 1803, 1776. Honestly, I think we're going to have to go with 1776 is my guess. Honestly, that's what I'm thinking here, you guys. Let's see. Oh, we got it correct. Great job. Great job, you guys. Hopefully. All right, I'm catching up. I'm in second place. You guys better watch out. You guys better watch out. It is a very close call here. All right, guys, the game is over. Everyone head back to your seats. Great job, everybody. Great job, everyone. Awesome job. So we are going to be loading up on the school bus. You guys earned five extra credits. Since you guys did beat me on the cahoots, congratulations, you get five extra credit on your test. So guys, I need you guys to head out to the school bus. We are going to be departing in just a moment. Make sure you have your lunch. We'll be eating lunch at the farmer's market, and then we'll return to school at 3 p.m. All right, everybody, let's go load up the bus right now. Let's go bring all of your belongings. Do not forget anything behind, and do not lose anything at the farm, okay, everybody? All right, this kid is literally running. Excuse me, no running down the hallway. You need to go try again. We are not running through the halls. Go to the end of the hall and try again. Thank you very much. All right, guys, we do not allow kids to run through the hallways. Otherwise, they have to try again. All right, guys, we're going to be headed to the school bus right now. Everybody load up on the school bus here. You have your assigned seats on the bus. Everybody load up, load up, load up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody, let's go quickly, quickly, quickly. All right, guys, we are going to be departing on the school bus right now. All units, we are leaving Greenville High School right now, and we'll be departing to the field trip right now, you guys. All right, well, we're going to set our navigation system to the farmer's market. It is located on the other side of town, so it is a little bit of a drive, but, you know, it will be well worth it when we get there. Honestly, you guys, students are so excited. Now, guys, make sure you are writing down notes because you will have to write a paper on the information that you learned about the natural resources found in Greenville, Wisconsin. What in the world is going on? Excuse me. Guys, we are not running through the parking lot. What in the world is happening here? Guys, you are assigned to the other school bus. Guys, get on your school bus right now. The bus driver is going to be departing in just a moment. Guys, we are not running through a parking lot. That is dangerous. So you guys go on your school bus right now, okay? All right, you guys. Well, I cannot believe students were literally running through the parking lot right now. Unbelievable. All right, we're departing right now, you guys, and we will be headed to the farmer's market right now. Honestly, I'm so excited. It is going to be a great field trip. We just hope students behave and show extra respect. We had a good conversation with the students before we left the school that we will be talking with parents on the phone if they are not being respectful. So they have to make sure they are doing the best that they can, taking notes because they are going to have to write a paper and present a project on the information that they have learned. All right, guys, make sure you guys have your notebooks all set and ready to go so that when we get there, you could start taking notes on everything that you've learned from the farmer's market. Now, you'll also learn how to run a business because it is actually a lot of work to run your very own farm. Very expensive. You are your own boss, so you can lose a lot of money if your crops do not grow. If we have a bad hot weather and the crops do not produce anything, you may not make any money that year. So it is a very tough job. Have some questions ready to go for the farmer. 
and make sure you guys are showing extra extra respect so we are rolling down the road right now the other bus will be falling behind in just a few minutes they are running a little bit behind schedule since the students were not following expectations and did not get on the right bus seriously had to stop the whole bus and we are behind a couple minutes on the schedule so we should already be at the farm right now but honestly we're a couple minutes behind schedule that is okay i'm sure the farmer will be very understanding as sometimes it takes a little bit longer to get to the destination so we are roaring down the road right now as fast as we can to get to the farmer's market honestly guys i am ready for a great field trip we're hoping everything goes smoothly and we have a great time with our students so we're gonna be pulling up in just a moment you guys Honestly, they got some bad potholes here in the street, so we're going to have to go around that. I think they need to redo this street here. Oh my gosh, some of the pavement is literally missing over here. Seriously, that is not good. We had to go off-roading with our school bus over there because some of the street is literally destroyed. We're going to have to call the DOT department and let them know that they need to get that repaired as soon as possible. All right, everybody, we are pulling up to the farm right now. Have all of your things ready to go so we can quickly get started meeting the farmer and getting ready on our tour. All right, guys, here we are. It is a beautiful farm. They have over 100 acres of land, and this is just a beautiful, beautiful place to be, you guys. All right, here we are. We're pulling up right now. Everybody, please stay calm and quickly and calmly exit the bus, okay? All right, we got the farmer over here. Hi there, Mr. Farmer. It is great to see you, guys. Give the farmer some space here. Give the farmer some space. Howdy partners, we are going to be trained farmers today. We're going to be learning about the different resources found here in Greenville. Awesome, you guys. Well, we have another bus that is going to be pulling up in just a moment, so we'll be waiting, but we're going to be starting in just a minute here. Yes, we'll get some free food. Do not worry, you guys. There are many resources found here in Greenville, such as copper, iron, coal, as those are very important resources. Guys, make sure you're writing this down. Very important to write this down, okay? Excuse me, you need to be listening to the teacher over here, okay? Don't be wandering around. All right, the other bus is pulling up right now. All right, the three most things that keep our Earth alive is hydrogen, H2O, CO2. They are very important to our environment. All right, well, let's take a look at the farm over here, you guys. Let's go take a look at where things happen. We got some barns over here. Right this way, everybody, right this way. We got some barns over here where they collect and store the hay for the animals. So let's take a look in here. Now, make sure you guys do not touch anything in here, okay? Here is one of the barns where they store all the hay for the animals. Very, very nice. Honestly, this is super, super cool. All right, let's check out the next area over here. We got another barn over here. And we got these silos. These silos store all of the grain that we produce from the animals, which is super, super cool. And we got some more hay bales over here to feed the animals, you guys. Now... Everyone, we're going to be walking up this hill over here, and we're going to take a look at some of the wheat farms where most of the things are produced. Now, we also get eggs, milk, and other resources here that help keep our city alive and healthy. Thank you, Mr. Farmer, for that. Everyone, follow me right over here. We're going to take a look at the wheat fields. These were just harvested, so as you can see, there's not much to see here, but it goes on and on forever. So it is super, super cool. Really, really love that. It goes on for so many miles. Now, everyone, we're going to be boarding the buses as we are going to be taking a look through the farm fields over here. So thank you, Mr. Farmer, for having us today. We really do appreciate it. We're just going to drive through here and we're going to take some notes as we go through. Okay, everybody? And guys, we also have a windmill over here. This helps produce energy for the farm as well. So everyone, right this way, please board the school bus that you came on and we'll be leaving. So thank you, Mr. Farmer. We do appreciate it so much. Honestly, it was a great trip. We literally had so much fun with all of the students and the farmers. So let's get going, everybody. What a great time we have had here. All right, everybody, let's go on the bus. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we are leaving right now, and we are going to head to check out the amazing fields that they have here. You guys can see they have over 100 acres of field here, which are insanely, insanely nice. And this really produces a lot of food for Greenville, Wisconsin. So we should be very thankful for the farmers that we have. It is a very tough job and it can be very risky as well. You can lose all of your profits if nothing grows, you guys. So it is definitely a lot of work. We are going through the fields right now. And honestly, this is insane. Um, guys, my bus is making strange noises. Oh my goodness. Do you guys hear that? Oh my 
my gosh, we better pull over right now. Something's going on. Guys, what is going on? Bus is making strange noises. Uh, everybody, we need to go out of the emergency exit right now. Everybody out of the emergency door on the back of the bus, please. Everyone out of the bus. Calmly exit the bus, everybody. Oh, my goodness. I think the bus has overheated here. Let me pop the hood. Oh, my goodness, guys. This is not good. It is getting dark out very quickly here. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have to call a tow truck or something. All right. Well, I'm going to have to call a tow truck right now, guys. Do not worry. We will be just fine. Hi there. Uh, we need a tow truck for bus 42 at the farm, please. We are literally broken down here. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys. All right. We need to load up on the second bus over here, guys. Calmly enter the bus. The tow truck will be picking up this one. Please stay calm, everybody. We're going to be just fine. All right. I got to make sure there are no belongings left here in the bus. It's looking fine. I cannot believe we broke down, though. All right, well, the tow truck will be here to pick up the bus in a few hours, if you don't mind us leaving it here. So sorry about that, sir. I really do apologize. I cannot believe the bus literally broke down. The engine, like, overheated. Such a disaster. I do apologize, sir. We were not expecting that to happen at all. All right, well, we're getting on the bus right now. We're going to be headed back to the school. Hopefully, there's some seats on the bus here. All right, there we go. All right, guys, we are going to be headed back to school right now. What an unbelievable day. I cannot believe our school bus literally broke down. Thank goodness we had another school bus come with us. Otherwise, we would have been in major trouble. The farmer would have had to drive us all home. Would have been absolutely unbelievable. So we're going to on the main highway right now. What a crazy day it has been here in Greenville, Wisconsin. We are very thankful we had another school bus here to help save the day. We're very thankful for the farmer for showing us his beautiful farm and everything that goes into it. It is a very tough job, so make sure you thank a farmer when you see one. So we're roaring down the road right now. We'll be arriving back at the school in about 20 more miles. Luckily, we have the back road here to get us there pretty quickly, and we should be there very soon. Hopefully, the tow truck will be able to get our bus fixed and brought back to the mechanics very soon. Honestly, our boss is not going to be happy because our school is down to one school bus. And we have a couple more days left of school, so we definitely need all buses on deck. So we are roaring down the road right now, you guys. What a crazy, crazy fun day it has been here working as a teacher and a school bus driver. I hope that you guys did enjoy today's video. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to join the Wanny family today. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.